Former President Donald Trump and his running mate Senator J.D. Vance trying to explain their own statements and stances on the issue of abortion, while Vice President Kamala Harris is trying to explain how her view on things like border security have changed since she ran for president back in 2019. My values have not changed. In her first sit-down interview since becoming the Democratic presidential nominee, Vice President Kamala Harris defending her changing policy positions, including flip-flopping on fracking, which could play a role in how voters cast ballots in the battleground state of Pennsylvania, where fracking is a huge employer. In 2019, while running for president, Harris said, There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. But Harris says that changed in 2020 when she joined the Biden ticket as VP, adding Thursday she now believes a clean energy economy can grow without eliminating the practice. As vice president, I did not ban fracking. As president, I will not ban fracking. On border security, Harris addressing another reversal from 2019 when she supported decriminalizing illegal border crossings. We have laws that have to be followed and enforced. Meanwhile, the Trump campaign adding to widespread confusion over its stance on abortion and reproductive rights. Over the years, Trump has gone from saying he's pro-choice to taking pride in helping overturn Roe v. Wade and saying that states should decide abortion limits. But this week, Trump refused to give a straight answer on how he'll vote on a ballot initiative that would overturn a six-week abortion ban in Florida. Well, I think the six week is too short. Uh, it has to be more time, and so that's, and I've told them that I want more weeks. He's been very consistent in that. He says he doesn't like just six weeks. He obviously doesn't like late-term abortion. I think like a lot of Americans, the president is sort of somewhere uh, else on this issue. And how voters react to both campaigns' ability to answer questions and message on these hot-button issues likely to play a role in who wins in November. A new poll from Quinnipiac University finding that after both parties' conventions right now, there's no clear leader in the race for the White House. At the White House for City News, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting.